So welcome, today we're going to have a look at the differences between an animal and plant cell. So we start up up here, I'll write animal and plant cell. So if you are never sort of wondered what's in a cell, so we're going to look at an animal cell first. There's going to be three similarities between an animal and plant cell and three things which a plant cell has on its own. So an animal cell, I'll draw it just like this. If you've seen it under a microscope, or you've seen images, it's probably what you've seen before. And I'm going to draw just that. We're going to leave it at that. So an animal cell, and the biggest thing, the biggest organelle, which is the part of the cell that you can see, is the nucleus. And it's this thing here. So it's a big, and it's often shown as being either coloured in or perhaps black, and it's called the nucleus. And what that does is controls what the cell does. Some people sort of say that it's the brain of the cell, but that's not strictly true. Controlling what the cell does is a better description. We also have this thing going around the outside of the cell, which is called the cell membrane. So cell membrane is there and it a thin sort of skin layer around the cell. It holds together the cell and controls what can go in and out. Within the cell itself, we also have stuff called the cytoplasm and this isn't sort of water it's more like a jelly like substance and it's where all the reactions and things take place in the cell a plant cell has all of these three things but it also has some other stuff so if i draw my plant cell like this i'll label up these three things first so you're going to still have a nucleus you're still going to have the cell membrane which can be this thing here and you're still going to have the cytoplasm. In addition, on a plant cell you have something called a cell wall and this goes on the outside of the cell membrane. So it goes all around the outside of the cell membrane and it's thick and it gives the cell, the plant cell, structure and support. So rather than a cell membrane, this is a cell wall. So a plant cell has both a cell wall and a cell membrane. You can also get inside plants vacuoles and these basically can be filled with sugars, little solutions and are used as like storage space for the plant cell as well as some other things. You can also get in most green plant cells, most green plants, and I'll show it in green in this diagram, some things called chloroplasts. And chloroplasts are there for photosynthesis. So, and it's one word, but I'll write it like that. So chloroplasts, important, very important for photosynthesis. They contain the pigment called chlorophyll, which allows the light to be absorbed by the plant and for photosynthesis to take place. As ever, visit decaffeinatedtalk.com for more revision aids for links to the different websites and if you want to follow me on twitter then it's at decaf talk